G'day everybody, Polyptico here. Today I've just got a quick um, sort of tips and tricks video, whatever you want to call it, for uh, SnowRunner. I just This is just probably the easiest ways that I have found to make money in this game. I will show ya. Alright, we'll do a little bit of driving around so it's not as boring. Number one tip would be play online, play co-op, because you will get so much more experience than... It's, it's the easiest way to get experience. Um, the more people you have, the better. Preferably, I'll play with mates first, for the reason being is that then you can all do separate tasks and still keep in communication at the same time. You know, you all, you all could be doing four different missions and possibly complete them on near the same time and get a ridiculous amount of experience. Or, if you don't want to do, do that, say you've got a mate that, you know, plays a lot of sing single play and you don't have a lot of time to play but you want to le level up if he or he or she is okay with it put in a low here um when they go to play single player ask if they can just start an online co-op match put it on private put it on max two people go into their server and just sit in sit in the garage just say to them hey mate all, all good if you know i you start an online server whilst you play you can do your missions and stuff and i'll come in and just sit in the garage and 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 leave your game because then when he's playing he or she is playing you will be getting the experience and unlocking the parts that they get and do so you're virtually getting free experience and cash so that in my opinion is the easiest way to get money and experience would be that one there selling trailers now oh hang on i'll just turn the beast off now, what I mean by that is you see this thing here, this service trailer, they are worth about nearly seven grand. So, grab your truck, come all the way down here, grab the service trailer, bring it back up, done. That, that will be the quickest seven grand you can earn in this game. You know, any trailer, that, any of these trailers here, of course, as, as long as you don't have to use them, that's the easiest way to get cash in this, is trailers. Go around after, preferably... I would personally do it after you've completed the map, like what I have here. You can see I've done all the objectives, all the side ones. Now, I only have a couple main ones to do and I'll do them later, but the easiest way is once you've completed the map, go and get all your trailers. And the easiest way to do that, right? I'll show you what I mean. So, so this is the way I personally, when I'm doing a trailers run, I want to get as much done as possible. So what I would do here is I would put your most powerful truck you know, the, I'll put your most powerful truck in front, not letting me, there we go, put your most powerful truck in front, one that's just going to pull anything out of anywhere, and what you want to do is, you want to hook the beast up, hook the other one up, make sure it's not nice and close personally, and you want to go down, and you will be able to get two trailers at once, so the reason why you'll be able to do that is you'll have a trailer on the back of this one, and then you'll hook him up with the winch and then you'll have a trailer on the back of him and then you'll be able to come all the way back and do two, two trailers and that will give you you know say you've two average trailers are worth probably four grand you'll be able to get eight grand as quick as that it'll be easy easy peasy selling trailers is the quickest and easiest way to make money in this as long as you want to not cheat all right planning your routes so what I mean by that is I've done the missions here, but I know that there's a mission where you have to drop off things to two things to here that have to be picked up from the warehouse, but also you have to drop off, you know, something from this warehouse and you have to drop it down to the quarry. So what you want to do is you want to plan, you want to do every single corner so then you know exactly where you're going, right? Like that. So then you're keeping on the same track. But what you want to do is say you need metal planks to go to here. But then you also need up here, you need say, I don't know, what does this place put out? You need bricks to go to here. And also say you need wooden planks from here to go to the farm. What you would do is you'd come all the way down here with a trailer. You would get your wooden planks and your metal planks from here. You'd come all the way back around, blah, blah, blah. You'd drop your trailer here with the wooden planks on it. You'd come down here, drop your metal planks. And now you're, and now you're, you're the back of your truck's empty. Come up here, grab the trailer with your wooden planks on, on it again. 
Come back to the warehouse, get the bricks. So now you've got bricks and wooden planks. And then you'd go all the way back up here to here. And then that's three, three objectives done all in the matter of time that, you know, you could have done one. So always make sure you go through here. You look through all of your objectives, all of them. And you go, oh, okay, so this bloke here needs planks. This bloke here needs consumables. This bloke here needs this. This bloke here needs metal planks. This bloke here needs uh, bricks. So you want to go, okay, so if I go down here, grab this and this first, deliver that there. Hang on. So, you know, come grab this, you know, deliver this here. Then I can go grab more here, deliver this here. Pick some stuff up here, come over here, deliver that there, pick stuff up there and come down here. You want to plan your route out to the finest detail. So then when you go around the map, you don't go, oh, I need planks. Go down here, deliver it to here and then go, oh, crap, I actually need wooden planks here. So now I'll have to go from here back down to here to go back up to here. You want to plan every single minute detail of your road trip, say, that you're going to do, so then you do the least amount of trips and get the most amount of money as possible. That's what I have found to be a very good way, is you want to sit there for 10 minutes before you go for a, um, you know, go for a bit of a stroll. All right, so one thing that I'm doing, whoa, that was good, wasn't it? One thing that I'm doing all the time is selling and buying trucks to test them out, to try it. So, you know, I'll just, I'll just show you. So yeah, with the buying and selling trucks, okay, what I always do is say I have to go from here all the way down here, virtually stay on the road all the way down here, down here, come across here, all up there, all up here to come to here. All right, why the hell would you take something like that? Something that is slow. Yes, it'll make it through any mud, but something that is slow. Why would you take that? all the way down there when you could take this this has got a high range in it so this has got oh this has got eight gears so this thing flies on the road but doesn't make it through mud as easily but because you're on the road virtually the whole time you want to take a road orientated truck to go all the way down here then say back to i don't know here you want to take the right truck. You don't want to take an off-road, uh, sorry, a heavy truck to do all that when you could do it with a freaking highway truck, something that is fast and will make it through, you know, just some dirt easily. You always want to be buying and selling trucks because everything that you buy and sell is worth exactly the same amount of money when you sell it than when you buy it. Sell any old parts that you have. So I've left this as an example. See, I've got that and that engine, the best one for this one. Why would you keep that? You've got absolutely no reason to keep that. You know, why would you keep an old part? So make sure you sell. Come down here, look, why do I need a, a stock gearbox? You don't. Sell them. Like, sell everything that you don't need. Like, like why do I need them? I'm not using them. Sell, oh, not, not equipped. <laughs> sell them. Look, there's another 2300 bucks right there. Look, stock medium, sell, another grand. Oh, I haven't got no nothing there. No, look, the stock air filter. There's another 800 bucks. Rear wheel drive. You don't need that. You know? Same with in here. Like, say for one mission, you, you need a heavy crane for some reason. You buy it that once, and then you go, well, why keep it here? Yes, you might need, need it later, but I prefer to have the money there and now just in case I have to buy something else. Also, when it comes to these, like, when you put... Um, I've got nothing. Like, when I buy another front bumper for this thing, look, we'll just, I'll just buy one, we'll, we'll buy that. The stock bumper is now for sale. Sell that. There's an extra 400 bucks that you don't have to do anything for. Like, look, these exhausts, I'm going to put that big fat thing on there. What, why do I need that? Another 600 bucks. Easy as that. That is easy money. And say you, you have to buy a truck, or you want to buy a truck to do one mission, like, when you have to haul this massive um, oil drill from here and say you want to do it with a heavy. You might also just sell both of these, go into your truck store, get the best heavy you can possibly buy. Right now I only have two unlocked. Get the best heavy you can possibly buy. So that thing, do it up, do that mission, 
And you're like, well, why the, why the fuck do I need that? Come back, sell it, and buy whatever truck or scout or anything you, you need next. I am always buying and selling trucks all the time. Just, you know, because I'm, I might not need this for a couple missions, so I'll just sell it. So I've got the money there to buy something else just in case I need it. It's easy, you know, always sell parts. As soon as you upgrade, like, yeah, as soon as you upgrade anything, sell it. Sell, sell it straight away. You'll get that extra money back. Also, if you go around and you unlock parts, like, I don't have any upgrades here, but you unlock an upgrade here that's for... I don't know, that's for, you know, that's for this thing here. You know, why why would you keep the upgrade? Personally, you know, I haven't got any, anything for it. I was hoping to find something, but I don't. P personally, I would just buy that truck, sell the upgrade, and then just sell sell that truck. You know, if you, if you get an upgrade that's only for that thing there, or only for that thing, or only for that thing, and you don't use any of them, buy that truck, Sell the upgrade, sell the truck, and then you've just made m money within five minutes. It's easy. It's so easy to make money in this game. You just have to think about things. Like with the planning thing, again, you know, you want to plan every minute detail. You want to, yeah, just plan, plan, plan. Spend 20 minutes on planning, so then you have to spend half the amount of time on driving around and double handling. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this helped out, um, you know. I hope you can take some tips away from this and maybe make your life a bit easier. You know, I understand there's money glitches, but I wouldn't do them. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy. Like, share, subscribe, comment, do whatever you want. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching and see ya.